Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. Enjoy. Enjoy your beer. <laughs> hey guys, welcome Hello. back to my channel. I have a friend with me today. This Hello. is Adam. You've seen him in a couple videos before. Um, <laughs> today we are talking about Walking Dead. We are going to do the Walking Dead tag. The season finale just happened. It was, well, I think it was amazing. Adam hasn't seen it quite yet. No. I told you guys, all my friends are behind The Walking Dead. I'm usually this in like every video. I'm usually good. I'm usually one of the first ones she can That's talk true. to. Just this week, I have been very busy. Yeah. So he'll catch up tonight. Luckily, um, none of these questions really. You don't really need. You don't need to see the finale to do this. So it'll be fine. It won't be spoilery. Um, well, well, this will be if you haven't watched The Walking Dead. Probably incredibly spoilery. Right, I mean, so I guess there's a warning right there. Yeah. But yeah, um, we're going to do The Walking Dead tag. And I um, asked Adam if he would do this with me because we have some different opinions yeah. when it comes to Walking Dead. So yeah. I thought this would be fun. And yeah. you know, we, it might end in a fist fight. But that's okay. ah. <laughs> Question one. Your favorite weapon used to kill zombies? My favorite weapon, I love the sword. Uh, I collect swords. I have a bunch of swords hanging on my wall. Good and also Michonne's, you know, Michonne's Michonne. Mm -hmm. So it's fun watching her. Um, so I love the sword. That is a great answer. Um, I was going to go with crossbow or knife. Obviously a gun is out of the question. It makes right. way too much noise yeah. and your bullets, you know, they run out. Crossbow, you can at least go back and get your arrow, not like in a war situation. Right. That's not the greatest thing, but yeah. that's why you have the, the knife. Right. So. Yeah, the crossbow's a great weapon, yeah. but it has its limitations. Silent killer. Yes. And Daryl like rocks it. An icicle. Icicle would be a great weapon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in case I ever do, like the Arctic Walking Dead. Warming. Icicles. For the zombies. <laughs> okay. Who mows the grass, by the way? I always want to know who mows the grass in Walking Dead. Oh my gosh. I have... Mm, I have a question, but you can't... Okay. Never mind. It's about the tiger. I have questions about that. The tiger? Leave, leave a comment if you know what I'm going to ask about the tiger. Well, Having to do with the finale. I have a big old question. Well, I, all, I do know I was spoiled a little bit. The tiger does something really badass. Yeah. And I hope so because that at least explains the half-missing deer earlier in the season. <laughs> all that CGI. That CGI, all that CGI deer. money went to the tiger. <laughs> right. So as long as it's as awesome as everybody says, I will forgive them for the deer. I cannot forgive them for the green screen. I can't. There's no way. AMC, come on. <laughs> the tiger is awesome. I've heard. Hey, next question. How many of your favorite characters are dead? My favorite character throughout the entire show was so short-lived I was sad with Shane. I love Shane. <gasps> I know. <laughs> But this is why I asked you to do this. Okay, go on. All right, so Shane, all that Rick does now is what Shane was telling him to do in season two. That's true. And I, even when he was saying it, I agreed. I'm like, look, this world sucks, but it's either that or you're going to die and be a zombie. And this dude knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a little crazy with the whole Lori thing. Yeah, he was like, um, obsessed. I mean, he lost his mind a little bit, but Shane... He knew it before anybody else did. That's why I love his character so much. Yeah. Uh, Dale... I love Dale. I miss Dale so much. Dale's um, my answer. I love him. Uh, I don't remember his name in the show, but the guy who was on Everybody Hates Chris. Um, <gasps> the the oh. unfortunate, the worst zombie killing ever. Oh my god, yeah, he had the like, grossest <laughs> death ever. Like They killed him off in style. People were like getting mad about how gross Glenn's death was with the eyeball and stuff, which is like straight out of the book. Yeah, that was good. But that was not the grossest death. That guy no. got his face eaten off right he was alive when it happened that was ooh. Yeah, that, that one was terrible you had three three of your favorite characters oh glenn obviously and abraham and that's about it mine is dale um <laughs> i i had no particular sorry i'm sorry I'm, i had no particular affinity to herschel Oh, I forgot about Herschel. <laughs> oh, Herschel, I miss him too. Um, I actually, Herschel kind of pissed me off a lot of the time, to be honest with you. Uh, again, obviously, Glenn. Uh, Abraham was, I miss Abraham for comic relief, but I feel like we're getting that comic relief from Negan now, so I Ginger don't Pratt. miss that as much. Uh, but yeah, Dale's my number one. I'm actually putting together, you see that bucket hat over there? Yes. I'm putting together a Dale cosplay. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. No, am I going to have to be him too? Nobody's going to know who I am because <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a girl and I don't have like a big white beard. I, I miss y'all so much. It was great. Mm -hmm. Next question. <laughs> I wonder what my answer is going to be for this one. Uh, no, Favorite I, villain? They were very short-lived, but 
I loved the Terminus episodes. Mm. Terminus was my favorite, and what's the, the leader's name? Gabriel? No, not Gabriel. It starts Gareth? With G Gareth. Mm -hmm. I loved that character. There are psycho people um, in this world, and that made sense. Like, if you've got a. If you're just trying to survive, we're talking about pure survival. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is not a bad way to do it. You literally bring food to you. I mean, yeah, it's not accepted in our culture, but this is not our culture anymore. Yeah. This is a whole new world. And it's do that or die. So I love that whole aspect. I was kind of sad they did it in one episode. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah, Terminus is actually my answer for another <laughs> for another one because I agree. They, didn't, they did not spend enough time on Terminus. No. They spent so much time... Getting to Terminus? Mm hmm. And then it was. And just, then, yeah. Like, they could have made Terminus like half that season, and then we could have gotten rid of so many episodes. Mm hmm. That, we'll go into that later. Yeah. So those are your favorite villains? Yeah. Just, term, just Terminus in general? Yeah. That's but a good mainly the, the leader, but that whole concept. Yeah. Uh, mine's Negan. I can't believe that. I'm shocked. I have. <laughs> you guys already know. You already know. I love Negan. He's like my favorite character, like almost ever in anything. I. <laughs> love him. He cracks me up. He is great. <laughs> I, I love Negan too. And he's just so like he's so smart and he, but he's so sick and like he thinks he's doing like the right thing especially like the last episode not the finale but the one before that when he stops the rape. Yeah. And he's like you know we're we not rules. monsters. Yep. Yeah. Um, there's just a lot of levels to that guy that I yeah. just is really. He's like an onion. Fascinating. He is He's an ogre. Shrek. <laughs> All right, next question. Your favorite season? Season one. Yeah. I, I love season one. I, uh, I mean, because you, I mean, yes, I mean, there's nostalgia in there, but the whole, you know, Rick and the Tanth and Glenn, you know, hey, dumbass. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love that. Um, I actually enjoyed. Well, that just made me sad. I forgot about that. I love one of my favorite scenes. Mm -hmm. um, I miss. I actually am one of the rare people who liked the CDC spin to it because that was. I mean, that's more real world to me. Um, and then they now they pretend it doesn't even exist, which yeah. upsets me. But do they? Yeah, Kirkman said that's not canon anymore. The CDC then. I did not know that. Walking Dead Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a rabbit hole. I'm not really don't you'll lose ready hours. to <laughs> fall down because you'll get into arguments with people mm -hmm. and you'll get lost in the hole for hours. Yeah, my favorite season is the one that just happened. Oh my god! I know. I knew that answer was gonna piss you right off. It did have its slow moving parts, but really, like every season has those episodes that are just like, okay, come on, like yeah, you... something exciting. Yeah, I. Again, for Negan, like right. I loved the season that. for Negan. Um, I also loved the season for Eugene. Yeah, I love uh, Eugene's path this year. Yeah, I want him to be a traitor. I want him to like <laughs> bully. Like I want him to mean it when he says I am Negan, and I think he does. Me too. Um, if you if you disagree again, comments. Like I want to I want to talk about this because I get. I know, I get excited. It's walking dead. For Rick being like <laughs> knocked down a couple pegs. Rick's done, Rick's doing some messed up stuff. Rick is yeah. really screwing up and I feel like he's gotten too big for his britches. The shit they were pulling, like killing yeah. all the people in their sleep and stuff yeah. like that. Oh, and yeah. it didn't happen in like the season but the one before. But uh, there were just a lot of things about this season I really liked and I know a lot of people stopped watching after the I first thought... episode of this season. But um I feel like it's it's worth it, and it kind of um, the introduction of Negan and the Saviors, and there. I mean, there are a lot of interesting characters oh, in the yeah. Saviors too, like Simon and Dwight. Simon especially. Simon is so fun to watch. Favorite location. I liked the prison. I was sad to see the prison go. I understand the drawback of it, but I feel like I feel like that was for theatrical reason. That mm -hmm. I, I feel like they could have made a better barrier I, in, in real life. They could have built. Other things they could have done a moat. They could have done other things to protect that yeah. place. I mean, granted, I know it got attacked by the governor. <laughs> headed back. I, to, I forget about that. Headed part. back to who's mowing the grass. <laughs> the, the prison is like a prime example of that. That's that, that's my favorite location. Yeah. My favorite is actually Terminus. I wanted to know more mm. about Terminus, so that's my favorite location. And um, I, I mean, this question was kind of vague, so I wasn't sure if they were asking um, like where they were setting up shop right. or just like in general. So I'm going general. I'm gonna say. Terminus, because I wanted to know more. I wish they would have spent more time on that. Right. Next question: Who do you ship? Well, she had to explain to me. <laughs> just, just throwing that out there. Yeah. Um, so who do you ship, Adam? Uh, I would ship. It's because I want to see it on TV. 
Yeah, I think it'd be great. I'm gonna ship Tara and Michonne. Because I think it'd be fun to watch. Alright. Alright. Was that a pervy answer? No, that wasn't a pervy <laughs> answer. I think it'd be for one, I think it'd be interesting. <laughs> I think it'd be interesting. <laughs> Okay, let's cut this. Okay, here's how, okay, I'm actually okay. going to say this and this is my Legit answer. reasoning. Okay, not them. That oh. was a stupid answer. I thought about it. I didn't think about it that much. That was a dumb answer. Okay. I'm actually going to flip it. Daryl and Aaron. But Aaron's got a man. He's been flirting with a guy, but. Do with me? Shouldn't they have him with Jesus if they did that? Jesus, is Jesus gay? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. They were actually he came out in like a really cool way. Then I admit I amend my answer to Daryl and Jesus. Mine's Daryl and Carol. I that, that'd be a great. I mean, I'd love to see that too. But. And I uh, we're never gonna see it. I no. already know that they're, happened. They're, when it, when the Beth arc started, I was like, okay, Carol's probably never gonna happen. But I would still really like to. I would like to see that they care about each other so much. Yeah. Wait, the one? CGI deer. And Shiva. <laughs> That's who I ship. Oh my god, are you ready for this I've one? I've been waiting for this one. Worst plot line. Season seven. That is the current season, correct? Mm-hmm. This current season. All right. It's right in time. Okay. I don't care about Tara. I like the character. I don't need an hour-long episode about Tara. Or I, th I actually think it was extended. Um, yes, I know it introduced that whole group. We could have done that in 10 minutes. There are about five episodes this entire season that could have been done in one. And they're dragging this season out so long. The, I haven't seen the finale, but I've heard enough that I'm not even that excited to really watch it. No, it's good. It's you, good. But you think this season's good. I don't. I get yeah. character development. Trust mm -hmm. me, I'm, I I work in the it's video. It's exciting. It's like the most exciting episode. I don't know. Terminus, the first season, the f episode right back from Terminus mm -hmm. when they're lined up. Dying. No, yeah, that made me want to barf. Yeah, that but was But so great. did the Negan episode. So did the first episode okay. of this season. Well, I, I haven't seen it yet, so I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. But, but <laughs> Rick Michonne episode was so horrible to me. When Rick died... You know, falling off of a Ferris wheel in the middle of a zombie with no build up whatsoever. And Michonne had her little moment. I mean, we we know Rick doesn't die. I know, but I liked that though because you saw how much she really cared about him and how much like if he if something did happen to him, how much that would like seriously she's such a strong person and you I, saw how much that would like break her down. I understand that, but show it a different don't make us think that Rick died. Because we know Rick isn't. Oh yeah. I it, mean it, like I, I get that what I I understand what they were doing, mm -hmm. but I feel like they were insulting our intelligence. Yeah. Like maybe not Rick, but maybe something serious would happen to Rick. Like maybe Carl you know, they could have done it in the first episode where Carl got his arm you know, if they had actually chopped Carl's arm off. And you could see Michonne's reaction to Rick freaking out. Mm -hmm. uh, that could have been established. I just, I'm sorry. I come from a I, video production standpoint. And I feel like they felt we were stupid. And the whole, um, in my last segment, <laughs> the whole trash people thing. Um, I know they're a gang. I know they want their weapons. And trash everything. holes. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's, what's their name even? The heapsters. They, really? <laughs> I don't know what their name is originally. Okay. The garbage um, fail kids. <laughs> First off, the up, up, up. Junkyard Wars. The up, up, up. That's what they call the bit pile of trash. The up, up, up. The zombie apocalypse has been three years. Okay? Why are we talking like Yoda? <laughs> I can't, I know she has an accent and that's cool, but she talks like she doesn't understand proper English. And I don't understand how she's leading this whole group of people. I just, I hated this whole season. I love Negan. I love the saviors. I love that whole aspect. But this season drug on way too long. Yeah. Um, so that, I guess that's my least favorite plot hole or plot line. All right. Just a whole season. First plot line actually kind of lines up with yours a little bit. I love this season. I have no use for the ocean ciders. Sorry. They kind of annoy me. Uh, also, the trash holes annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that name. I also, there are some characters I don't really like care about I so much. Morgan. I yeah. want to care about Morgan. I just. See, I love Morgan, I but don't. I just don't care about Morgan that much. I don't know. It's just getting old. Like the whole act, it's getting old. But like, now we, he's—I mean—he's getting a little more interesting yeah. now. But no, he's always going to be the guy who saved Rit. So it's like he always gets a free pass to do whatever he wants because mm -hmm. he saved Rit. He could have killed him. Yeah. And then the show would have been over, and we wouldn't be here talking about it right now. So he—he's good. Yay, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite character. 
favorite dead character is Shane. I'll throw that out there. I've talked about why, so you can go back or whatever. Um, my favorite character alive, I love Carl. Oh, Carl's good. Uh, for one, I, I love Chandler Ritz. I, I, I loved his Reddit AMA. He's hilarious. He's seriously like a super cool down to earth. He was dude. like the nicest. Did I tell you about seeing Chandler Ritz? You met Chandler Ritz? I didn't meet him. Oh, I, I remember you. Yeah, yeah for the Jeffrey right, yeah. D. Morgan meet and greet. Um, I was. They put you in like columns, and I was the first person in line, like right outside of the tent. So I was watching Chandler Riggs do photo ops with all the people, and he was so like adorable. Yeah. And he would look everyone like right in the eye and shake their hand and give them a hug and be like, "Thank you so much for being here." <laughs> and it was just adorable to watch. Like he's, he's such a nice kid. Yeah. Just Google Reddit AMA Chandler Riggs. He's he's it's like you're touching your friend. He's a cool dude. Yeah. So that's why I love Carl. That's a good answer. I was um I was judging you for Shane, but Carl's a good answer. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's my favorite character, Adam? Negan. Negan. Um, if you're tired of hearing me say Negan, <laughs> uh, I will also say I love Dale, which I already talked about. Like, I loved Dale. Mm -hmm. Also, Carol. Carol. I freaking love Carol. It's like, if Daryl dies, we riot. Yeah. If Carol dies, I riot. I'll give her pepper spray. Yeah. She has gone through so much. She has come so far. I'm glad that she's finally kind of back to being herself. She's back in, like, fighting mode. Um, I just, I love Carol. Yeah, this, this love her. She does the shit that nobody wants to do mm -hmm. in order to survive, and I have a lot of respect for that. Yep. She's done some stuff. I mean, like she's she's done some stuff. She's done some messed like, up. The prison stuff. stuff. Like she they killed him. Look at the flowers. The, the fly. Oh my god, look at the flowers. <laughs> Did you forget about that? I forgot about that. Coolest survival tip you've picked up. I don't watch the show for education. Um, to be honest, I can't really think of many. I always have a good running car. I mean, that seems to be a Don't you issue. think at this point, like, cars wouldn't wouldn't even be, like... I mean, where's gas coming from at this point? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe mm -hmm. they just do it to kind of keep the show moving, but when the trash holes are on their... Well, they were on their bikes in the finale. I don't know if you, they showed that before. They ride bikes. Okay. That made a lot of sense yeah. to me. Um, also, horses. I think in the comics, mm -hmm. everyone's on horses for the Which makes cars, a lot more so. sense. Yeah, but... But, but then you couldn't have the awesome like three hundred zombie kill uh, rope that Rick yeah. and Michelle pulled. That's that was, true. That was really that, cool. that was a cool part of the part. I mean, obviously that would never really oh, happen. Oh, is that something you liked in the season? I'm not saying there were moments of <laughs> happiness, but I mean, it just it's just not for me. Keep a car. Keep have, a car. Keep a car running. Yep. That's a good tip. This kind is of a hard, hard question. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna say the things that I have seen with like character interaction have taught me to not trust anyone. Yeah. To look out for myself and um, build the right al allies. Build the right, like, make the right alliances. Yeah. Um, I would also like to add, don't have babies. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a don't, hazard. Don't like, have babies. <laughs> I mean, until you're, like, super, super secure, like, mm -hmm. all you're going to do is kill yourself so you're going to end the population faster. So, yeah. No babies. Wear a condom. Wrap it up in the zombie apocalypse. Shove your monkey before you get spongy. <laughs> PG, sir. I'm leaving this video. I don't, I don't really... I want to be a part of this anymore? Have you never heard that? One? No, I've never heard that. I heard that all the time. Get out of here. This question: Who would you want as your partner in the zombie apocalypse? Abraham. I know he's dead, but Abraham. Dude's loyal. He knows what he's doing. He's been to battle. Like. Abraham. That's a really good answer. Like just just tactically thinking. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say Carol. Uh, but not not the Carol. Well, I mean, Carol now. Is, she's come back around. Not like the season Carol seven, that Carol. saved everyone from Terminus. That, that Carol. Carol. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> least favorite character. You go first on this one. Okay. My least favorite character. Well, I have a couple. See, that's where I'm at right now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care much for Father Gabriel. I still have not come around to trusting him. No, I don't no. trust. I don't trust a damn thing he does. Oh, sketchy. Really oh sketchy. my god, that scene with Megan where he's like, oh, yeah. "Holy shit, you're <laughs> creepy." That's how I feel about Father I Gabriel. Uh, I love Megan. Um, I just hear him saying that, and it makes me so happy. Yeah. 
<laughs> you get the best, oh my gosh, when you watch the finale, when the he says, one. I'm just the guy that makes your kids spaghetti. That's the best part. You do, Everything. A, you do a very good Negan impression. Thank you. I like I like his, like the way like, he, yeah. You're getting the mannerisms down. Little pig, the little pig. <laughs> I will right. never stop. So say, um, I will shut that shit down, no exceptions for me. I will shut that shit down, no exceptions. She's awesome. Subscribe. <laughs> so yeah, Father Gabriel, I also have no love for the governor. The governor is gross and rapey. And he can F off. We don't like rapey. We don't like rapey Davy. We don't <laughs> like rapey governor. There uh, you go. Okay. Are, those, uh, are those your two favorite, or least favorite characters? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would agree with the governor, and not so much. I I didn't like the character, just I think they dragged it on way too long, so that made me hate him more than I already did. Lori, I hate Lori. I mean, I know that's like everyone hates Lori, like that's nothing new, but I just she was such a bitch. <laughs> You're gonna expand on that. Okay, I mean, in defense of Lori, Lori's not my favorite either, but she thought she thought he was dead. She thought Rick was dead. Oh, I have no issue with back. that whatsoever. I have um, no issue with that whatsoever. Yeah, she just... I just... She didn't do much for me. No, I just... I didn't like her tone. I didn't like that she just kind of assumed the leadership of the group. She, I, I felt like she thought she was the queen. Yeah. And it made me hate her even more. And so, but she didn't do anything, in my opinion, to take over that role. Mm -hmm. Last question. All right. You ready for this one? I'm ready. This is a good one. It is a good one. What scene made you cry? All right, here's a couple. I, I don't know if I'm losing my man heart or not, but no. I, I mean, I'm an emotional guy. I'm a redhead. We're, we're it, sensitive. Is that a thing? Yeah, gingers are sensitive. We yeah. also have really weird allergies. No, we also have no soul and burn in like an hour. It's not fair. Fun fact. Yeah, the more <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> Uh, the scene that made me cry. All right. So the first one that actually made me cry was when Herschel died. I loved Herschel. And he reminded me a lot of my grandpa. So it was kind of like watching my grandpa. Uh, so that sucked. Oh, that's sad. Um, I'm sorry I said I talked shit about Herschel before. No, I mean, I, <laughs> I really like him. I mean, he wasn't your grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the Herschel scene hit me. And then, <clears throat> as cheesy as it kind of was, it was in Sitzby. So it was Alexandria. And they were getting like overrun by the zombie horde, and it was like the montage of everybody slashing at the camera over mm -hmm. and over, killing all the zombies. Uh, you know, sticking together, metaphor, 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 awesomeness. Um, and then at the end, like Rich started crying about how it's a new world, and it got choked me. you up. Choked me up a little bit. Those are your answers. Yep. All right. I, well, I cried everything. I was going to say, you <laughs> cried probably this is every episode. <laughs> yeah. Um, every episode. Chad's over here, but Chad's over here eating pizza and what busting me out for crying yeah. at everything. I do cry. At, he's right. I do yeah. cry at everything. However, one thing made me upset more than anything else. Uh, oh, oh, there, there's two things. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh-oh. They're both related to Carol. Oh, wow. The end of season two, when they find out that Sophia has been in that barn the oh, whole time. Oh, I about that. Yeah. I oh, my, I'm like, I just, uh, like, I just got, yep. like, the chills. I was sobbing. That I remember was I was at my parents, and I was watching that, and I was crying so hard. I forgot like, about that one. What just yep. happened? I'm like, they've been looking for this little girl the whole time. It was the first time they killed her kid, too. And she like, was there. She was there. Yeah, oh, my God. Her reaction is what got me. She did a great oh. job in that. It, that one hit me, too. I forgot about I that I think one. that is the saddest thing that's ever happened Yeah, that show. was. Easily. Yeah, I forgot. Um, the other thing I got really upset, and this was um, the previous season, when Carol was like, she was like defeated Carol uh -huh. and she comes across that savior and he like almost kills her He's screaming at the television like stop 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 don't do like don't don't do this and I was like bawling like don't hurt her <laughs> you have no idea you have no idea how amazing she is so that made me really sad I also honestly I cry more watching Talking Dead than I do watching Walking Dead I, I understand that. Because when the actors, uh, when the actors come on after their character dies, they're so sad. I know, like Glenn. And it makes me so sad. Did you see the one with Beth? Oh yeah. Oh my God! Like I didn't cry when Beth died. Um, yeah. Sorry, but 
I bawled watching watching Talking Dead because I'm like, this poor girl misses her friends. Like mm-hmm. she, like that must be just the best cast to work to work with ever oh, yeah. because everyone is just so upset when their time on Walking Dead is over. And so like that always like I always get like choked up from that. I can understand that. Yeah, yeah, I cry way more watching Talking Dead than I do <laughs> Walking Dead, but definitely season two and a season it was season two right when they're looking for Sophia. Yeah, it was at the barn or farm. That was the saddest thing in the world. All right, we did it. All right, we did it. That, we did the thing. That was a lot more that challenging is, than I thought it would that be. That is the Walking Dead tag. Hopefully this video isn't like an hour long. I'll try to, <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to cut down as much as possible. But, um, it was fun though. Yeah, if you guys like this video, if you want to see more about Walking Dead, give this a thumbs up just so I know to make more videos like this in the future. I am toying with the idea of when the new season comes on, doing like a recap, reaction, conversation kind of thing. And, you know, Adam can be here too if he wants. This was fun. I enjoyed just this. Just saying. Um, so yeah, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.